Hey guys, AC here and welcome to Python tutorial number one. In this tutorial we're just going to be doing the very basics, which is installing Python. Now on Windows, what you want to do is you need to download the Python installer. So go ahead and go head to python.org. Okay, click the downloads tab. And you're just gonna want to go ahead and download the 2.6.2 version. Um, get either the Windows installer or the Windows AMD 64 installer. You get the AMD 64 if you have a 64-bit pro processor, okay, or if you're running 64-bit um, Windows. Um, don't go for the 3.1 or any of the three version 3s because um, some libraries, some uh, you know, like. Uh, it, well, modules is what they're called in Python, don't actually have any support for Python version 3, and but they do uh, have support for 2.6, so go ahead and get the 2.6 one. So you download that, double click the installer, and basically you can select whether you want to install it for all users or just you. Um, and I suggest you keep the default directory. It's fine to keep it like that. And yeah, basically just go along with that. Now, once you're done there, um, not everything is working properly. Um, what I want you, well, it might be actually. So, what I want you to do first before you go ahead and do anything is go into command prompt. So, either s the Windows key and then R or uh, what is it? Start all programs, accessories, I think. Accessories. Yep, command prompt. For me, it was just on the main thing because I use it a lot. Uh, and then just type Python. Now, if you see this pop up, uh, all this stuff, and then you get this prompt, and then you can type one and it gives back one, then Python works. But if you don't get that, if you get something like command Python is undefined or something, uh, then you need to do something extra. So what I want you to do is start, right-click computer, click properties. This, uh, so far this is the same in XPM Vista. Now, for Vista, go ahead and click advanced system settings here. And uh, for uh, XP, a little dialog should pop up. It should just be a dialog like this. I don't think you get any pain like this. And there should be a tab up here somewhere which says advanced. Go ahead and click that click environment variables and now he need to make a quick decision you need to decide whether you want to uh, make the Python command in command prompt work for um, your user only your user area only or for the whole computer okay uh, I'm doing it for the whole computer but you can do it for your user only simply by clicking new giving the variable name as path like that or all caps you know it doesn't really matter um, because actually Windows is case insensitive so it doesn't matter really at all and then the value is what I'm gonna cover now but I'm not gonna make a new one because I already have one here I'll just do it on the end of this okay so the value you put you well you won't have anything in there if you're doing it on the user variable um, but uh, in your uh, system variable here it is you should you'll probably have a whole bunch of other stuff all you need to do is if there is an already one put a semicolon yeah you press end it's to get to the end of the the variable value and if there is an already one put a semicolon at the end of that okay and then just type in the path to where you install python so in my case that would be c python 2.5 and then put a semicolon after it okay and if you save that, now when you open up command prompt and type in Python, it should work like so. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that's how to do it on Windows. I'm going to quickly cover how to do it on uh, Linux. Um, and I think it might be the same for, or roughly the same for Unix. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if... Um, Unix has the same uh, program thingies as Linux, but whatever. I'm going to show you how to do it on Linux, so that's good, I guess. Uh, go open up Terminal, 
and basically really simple way easier than um, in than in Windows. Uh, before you do this though actually check to see if you have Python installed already again it will show the same type of thing otherwise it will say bash error you know uh, Python command is undefined or whatever you know you get the point um, because a lot of Linux versions come with Python already installed now so that's cool. Uh, if not, if it shows an error, just do sudo apt-get install python. Okay. And that should do that, basically. It might ask you for a password, um, and if it does, just send to your default user password, um, or the root password, preferably, I guess. Um, and if you get that right, then uh, it should do this. Now it says uh, 129 not upgraded because I already had Python installed so I was just demonstrating how to install it if you didn't have it there. So anyways guys, uh, that's about it for this tutorial over and out.